Okay, so in this question here, we've got two springs, right? And look at the natural length of the springs here. AP is of natural length 0.3 meters, and then BP is of natural length 0.6 meters. Okay, now um, look at the distance then between A, B, A and B, 1.4 meters. Okay, so clearly the, both of these springs are being stretched, aren't they? Because if you look at the two natural lengths combined, it only comes to 0.9 meters whereas the distance here is 1.4 meters, okay? So in part A, then, it says show that AC, distance from A to C, is 0.5 meters. So um, what we need to do is to set up here the tensions using Hooke's law in both springs, okay? But appreciate that um, both springs have been um, stretched, yeah? It's not a compression as such, right? Um, you wouldn't expect that because of the gap between A and B being 1.4 meters um, and um, each of the natural lengths here being a lot smaller when you, when you combine them. So what I've done here in, in my diagram setup here, I've called the distance from A to C to be Y, right? A to C to be Y and then um, which I, I'd expect then for that spring um, AC um, or A to P rather as it's called um, I'd expect that to be more than the natural length of 0.3 meters. But then the, the other spring then, um, which of natural length 0.6 meters, I'd expect it to be more. Um, so you can see then what that would be. If, I, if I'm calling that length there y, this obviously would be 1.4 minus y, wouldn't it? Because the whole thing's got to make up 1.4. So if we look at the tension then, um, that's created in the um, spring A to P, okay? Um, it joining A to the particle P at, at point C, okay? So um, we'll call that tension, um, um, what should we call it, tension AP, spring there. So using Hooke's law, um, tension AP will equal lambda, okay? X over L, of course, right? That's the... the that's the general formula, yeah? Now, lambda for that spring, it says is 15, okay? Now, the, let's think about what the extension is going to be, okay? Well, remember the natural length of this is 0 0.3, okay? So, to work out the extension, I've just got to see what the difference is between y and 0 0.3. So, suppose that's 0 0.3 there for the natural length. Suppose it's 0 0.3 up to there. I need to see what this is there. For the extension so it'll be y the whole length take away the 0 0.3 okay so we've got that there and of course then you divide by the natural length of that string which is 0 0.3 and we've got our formula set up there so i, I could uh, simplify that but perhaps um what i'll do now is i'll just focus on now the other string first and then we'll simplify them later so the other spring then will be b to p okay um and similar situation there using Hooke's law tension b to p will be another lambda there, the modulus of elasticity there is 20. The extension, now let's think about it now, right? All of that length there is 1.4 minus y, right? That's what we've defined it as. But the the extent, the natural length of that spring is, no, is what is it, 0 0.6 meters. So suppose it's 0 0.6 meters to there, okay? To then work out what the extension bit is here, I just need that whole length, which is 1.4 minus y, and then I need to take away the natural length there, which was no point, um, no point six, and that will give me then what the what the extension is, and that's over the divide by the natural length then, which is obviously no point six. Now what's good is right because it's in equilibrium, okay. Then the te both tensions have got to be equal, aren't they? So in other words, tension AP has got to equal tension BP. Okay, so this here has got to equal this here, so 20, um, 1.4 take away 0 0.6 is 0 0.8, take away y over 0 0.6. Okay, so we'll use our calculator there. Okay, I'm going to use my calculator later in the day, so I don't want to make mistakes. Um, so this becomes 50 when I just divide them. And 20 divided by 0 0.6, let me just check that. Um, that's not very really nice, so you just get 100 over 3, 0 0.8 minus y, okay? Um, so, you know, you can take the 3 up there. There's lots of ways of solving this now, and hopefully then we'll get out what we want. Stick the 3 up there, it's 150. So you get that. 
So then times out 150y, take away then um, 45 equals 80 minus y. So then um, that would be 100 and, um, have I done that right? 100 times that, and then, oh, it should be 100y, shouldn't it? Yeah, so then you've got 50y, okay, if I, if I take that over, no, I've got 250y, okay, because minus 100y, if I take that over, 250y equals then, take that over that size, 125, it's looking right now, isn't it? So then y, should use a calculator, see, y is equal to um, a half, okay, so 0 0.5 is equal to a half, and remember what we define y to be, y is that distance from a to c, okay, so therefore, we've done it. Therefore, AC is equal to 0.5 meters.